I will never forget the first time someone signed the debit order. I was so happy for the way that God provided in our ministry and our needs. Let me tell you about some experiences. One night I visited someone for MPD. When I entered the house, I realized I made a big mistake in coming here. It was noisy. The children are screaming and crying, and every now and then the women had to take them out. I realized it would be far better for me to stay home and spend time with my wife and kids. So I opened my bag, put a debit order in Gavin's one hand and a pen in the other hand, saying, you must fill out this form if you want to invest in my ministry and become involved. To perform, stared at it, and then slowly said, I will start you with a thousand rand per month. Wow, thousand rand is a lot of money 34 years ago. So I start debating with myself. Five, 10, 20, 50, 100, nothing sounds like thousand. A thousand it was. I visited an old lady. When I entered the house, I realized she is very poor. I decided I will only spend some time with her, ministering a bit and go home. When I stood up to leave, she said, Peter, didn't you forget something? Where is the debit order? No, no, I said, that is all right. So she replied, are you telling me you are going to rob me from God's blessings by not allowing me to invest in your ministry? This gave me new insight in the heart of MPD. In this way, for 34 years, the Lord provided in our needs. With God's grace, I put free children through university buy a house, buy a car, and even have some money to put away for the day of retirement. I encourage you, give it a go. May God bless you. Amen.